Hey folks, I am, I am probably silhouetted, I apologize. The, the birds are just too noisy on the other side of the house, so I come on bog side and they stopped yakking, right? So, it's been a few days. My last video, <clears throat> I was a little irritated. But I'll always stand my ground, folks. I always will. So there are some of us that just let things ride and they get trampled over, right? You teach people how to treat you folks, you really do. And if they do something that's not right and you correct them, they're less apt to do it again and cause you a little less headache, right? So Friday, the, the peepers, the peepers started in the bog. So that means that water temperature is 40, 42 or 43 or something like that. So the peepers have started. They'll, trust me, they'll get louder, folks. Also in my last video, um, I, I mentioned that Homestead Hopefuls would like me to answer a few of their questions that some of you may want to know as well. <clears throat> Tonight I will address cooking. How do I cook here on the homestead? In the winter, I cook right on my wood stove. I can, I make bread on top of my wood stove. I make soups. I, I, I can do whatever I want on my wood stove. Now cooking on a wood stove, if you've never done that, it does take a lot of practice. Okay. It really does. In the, the spring, summer, and sometimes winter, but spring, summer, and, and fall, I have a rocket stove that I cook on. I've done a few videos on that before. My rocket stove is not set up right now because I had to move it for uh, the material to side my wall, to, to shake side my house, right? So that's what I do for cooking here, folks. I cook on the wood stove or I cook on my rocket stove. Both are fueled with wood. The, the wood stove takes larger chunks of wood to get the heat that you want. The rocket stove basically uses twigs. And there's no shortage of, of either here where I live. So that's just a, a resource that's readily available to me. I do have a, a propane grill I haven't used that in years, but I do have it. So there we go. There's other questions that they asked that I will answer and I will answer and, and some of my videos going forward. If you all have a question on how I live and I think that it's something that I want to share here, then go ahead and ask away. What I do ask you to do, if you are going to ask me a question, is in the beginning of your comment, in all caps, put QUESTION, so I will recognize that at a glance. Don't put everything in all caps, even though it's easier for me to read, YouTube does not like that. Right? YouTube doesn't like a lot of things lately. It's okay. See, same behavior. <laughs> Same behavior as when I'm in the pen. It could change on an instant. I'm gonna put my boot down there. He's gonna take a bite out of my boot. He doesn't like my boot. Geese can see colors more clearly than, than human eyes. They especially see like oranges and yellows and blues. Say, very gentle, very gentle. He didn't like my boot there because they knew, right? Okay, let's see what this goose nest looks like after the weekend. And I'd say she's thinking about becoming broody because now the eggs are covered up. Let's see. She's 
just got five eggs. Everything looks clean. We'll cover them back up. And I will bring her in a little more hay. I'd rather have them have as much hay as they want. They will kick out the rest. Just make sure they have enough. Same with the other two geese in there. A mating pen that are now sitting, both sitting on the same nest. I'll make sure I give them extra hay. And just make them comfortable. They get extra protein this time of year. So, it's all good.